Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video series. I am Aditya. In this series, we will be using Monstack to create a chat application. So we'll be using Mongo, Express React, Node.js and we will be also using the Pusher JS library to just receive real-time notifications. So without any further ado, let's begin with this. Right. So before we begin, let's understand what is Express. But before that, let's first make sure that we have a, a Node.js installed, which I have already installed. So once you install Node.js, if you do it through installer, then you get to, NPM also gets installed automatically. So you don't need to worry on that. So once that's done, we will go over here to Express and then we will first see what it is. So it's a minimalist web framework made in Node.js and it is super useful for creating rest apis and web applications so you can also like easily plug it in in next.js or nuxt next.js next is a react framework nuxt is a view framework and you can easily plug it in you can use express there if they're server side rendered you can also use express to create lambda functions or even Firebase functions. So you can create, use Express for that. For AWS Lambda to host your REST API, you can easily integrate, like use Express, uh, like Express API, you can host easily on AWS Lambda. So it's kind of like a very flexible framework, I would say. So let's get started with the installation. So in installation, like we have already created a directory here. So we'll just write here npm init to create the package.json file. Now, if you are new to package.json, it's nothing but a JSON file with key value pairs where you will have the meta information about your application or your project. And it will also have all the details of the packages, not all the details, but just like the versions of the packages that are being installed primarily. So if I do npm init hyphen by, it will ask certain questions and answer those questions with default answers. So should be done in a minute there now if we open this with vs code now once this is uh, once you open it in vs code you will see like it has those key value pairs just giving the meta information about the package or the project itself so you will see the name of the project the version the description you can put any description if you like the main entry file or the main file the script you will see it in it a minute then the author i can write my name here actually <laughs> why not so and the licenses and the keywords when you especially if you're developing a npm package or a javascript package in that case keywords comes in handy when it when you publish it on npm js website so that is easy to be searched so that's all we need for now and now let's install packages one after the other so here what i'm going to do i will say npm install so that's the command to install packages so we will need express we will need mongoose for mongodb you, we will need uid Oops. we will need a uh, bcrypt for hashing the password and all those stuff uh json web token for jwt then um what else we need nodemon definitely and course for now i can just remember of these packages but if we need any more, we will just install it on fly. So as you could see, like all the packages are space separated. So you can install multiple packages in one go. So if I hit enter and give it some time to install. So you will see we have a node modules folder here. Inside that we have all the packages installed. Like and now if you see like we just named like rarely like five six packages but you see like we have added, like there are like 250 packages added and audited and whatnot so what it is doing here is each of these packages have their own dependencies so those dependencies are also been installed so that's why if you like even install one package you might see like there's certain number of packages getting installed with it so that's uh, I guess pretty much for the package.json. Now let's create an entry file here. Like every project in Node.js, sorry, in Express, <laughs> you have an entry file. So you can call it index.js, app.js, server.js, doesn't matter. I will call it index.js. Now the beauty of Express is 
when you you can have a structured project as well with npx express generator but if you want a minimalist uh, project or if you want it just for rest api then you have something like this as we can see in the terms of project structure and we are like we have the freedom to put the project files however we like of course it should be structured and it makes should make sense what we are doing but we have that freedom over here and also we just need add what we need kind of thing so that being said let's now write here something like const express so we will create a variable express and we will import a package with es5 format so this is a common js format uh, for es6 format most of the node.js things they support es6 but some stuffs for express or node.js they are kind of like uh, having some rough edges so to be on safer side, I'll be using the uh, ES5 format, but of, of, uh, of course, like you can have it in ES6 format, you just need to do some modifications here and there. So let's go with ES5 format, so I'll say express like this. So we are importing uh, from this node module, we are importing the express file, but if, if it was ES6 format, you would do something like express from express. So as it's ES5, we will just stick with line number one. Next, we'll create an instance of the, our app. So we'll say express. Uh, yeah, that one. Next, we will just write here app.get. So like all other web frameworks, express also has uh, like that freedom to provide routes. So generally in other frameworks like Laravel or uh, in Django, you have like separate folder or you have separate files for routes. You can do the same thing in Express, but for simplicity for now, we will write all just one route in this index.js. So it will be a root route, and this route will the, the syntax here is you have app, then the method, whether it's get, post, put. So in this case, it's get, and then the URL. So forward slash is the root route, and then the function to carry out when you visit this route so in this case this will be the function and this function takes two parameter request and response so request is the request coming from front end a response that we need to send it to the front end so here we will write so uh, this mistake i pressed crap stop uh, response dot send and just let this write hello world and then to make sure that our app is running properly we will have app dot listen and then port number 3000 let's take it in a variable actually so const port equal to 3000 and then the port the function and just a message in the console console.log that your app is running on let's say Local, I could use template syntax, but okay. HTTPS local host colon port. Perfect. Now let's go to package.json here and write a script to run our project. So here we will say generally you will see something like npm run serve dev start or npm run dev npm run start. So we will see npm run start. So we will write here start and then we want to say node mod so this will be the command and it should watch this index.js so index.js once that's done oops sorry if i mistake i open this we will go to Mong we will go to mongo lab or mongo compass in a moment but for now once that's done we will do uh, npm run start hit enter and you'll see that nodemon index.js is running and we can see the message that our uh, app is running on this url so if we go over there just go to browser paste the url uh we forgot http it's already there oh it's https we just need http there if we can change it in index.js as well it shouldn't be https yeah perfect all right so we have our hello world well, uh, express initial web application creating so that's perfect now if from the next video onwards we will start adding more routes see how we can 
focus first we'll focus on the back end and then we will go for the front end so that's all in this video till the next time goodbye